In 2023, YouTube is monetizing shorts with a 45% creator revenue split, and here's how you can fully take advantage of it. What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Justin, AKA Adobe Wan Kenobi, back for another video. And today we're talking YouTube Shorts. Now last year I uploaded a video where I posted a YouTube Short every day for 30 days to see the growth results of my channel. Now, to my surprise, those stats went through the roof. So naturally, I wanted to do this again, but take it to the next level this time. Now, naturally wanting to see even more growth, I decided that 2023 was gonna be the year that I posted a YouTube Short every single day. 365 days, no excuses, even on my birthday. Now beyond analytics, views, and stats, there is a reason why I'm committing to this challenge right now. And at the end of this video, you may find yourself wanting to do the same. Now, unlike long form content, you aren't traditionally able to gain revenue directly from YouTube Shorts. Now they did have the YouTube Shorts fund where they rewarded creators for popular videos. However, this income was not residual. Now this all changed late last year when YouTube announced their 45% revenue split on short form content with creators creators. Wow. Starting in early 2023, YouTube will add the revenue generated from shorts and pay out to creators at the end of each month. Now, let's say advertisers paid YouTube $10,000 to advertise on your short form content. You would be eligible for $4,500 based on their 45% revenue split. That is pretty much unheard of in the short form content space. Now, I look at this as a power move from YouTube to regain all the short form content attention that TikTok has been taking away over the last few years. Now, not only is it a power move, but it's also going to force the other platforms like TikTok and Instagram Reels specifically to up their creator payout. And that is a huge win for all of us creators. So hopefully moving forward, once YouTube actually starts paying out this revenue split, hopefully the other platforms will take notice and be forced to do something similar. Now, don't just take my word for it. Here's exactly what YouTube said about the subject. We expect the majority of our shorts fund recipients to earn more money under this new model, which was built for long-term sustainability. Instead of a fixed fund, we're doubling down on the revenue sharing model that has supercharged the creator economy and enabled creators to benefit from the platform's success. Now, with this new revenue split model, YouTube is also introducing new eligibility criteria. Creators will now need at least 1,000 subscribers and 10 million shorts views over a 90-day period to be eligible for this 45% split. But don't worry, the criteria for long-form content has not changed at all. It's still 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the last year. Now, as much as that is a lot of views to get over the 90-day period, it is in no way unachievable. We all know short form content has gone to the moon with more and more people every day going viral. Now my strategy is simple. I'm going to be so consistent with pumping out high quality content that the YouTube algorithm has no choice but to find me and pump me out to everyone. Here's to hoping. Now there's no guarantee that I hit that eligibility threshold over that 90 day period, but that's not the only reason why I'm doing this challenge. I did it for 30 days and I saw a massive growth, so I can only imagine what the growth will be like over a 365 day period. So with that being said, I hope you decide to follow me along on this journey by subscribing. Let me know if you plan on joining along with the daily posting in the comments below. And finally, hit me with a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Now with that being said, I'll see you next time. Peace.